doesn't even feel that short, but apparently it is at the back when you bend over. So that's a slight inconvenience. But how often do you bend over in public? Eh? I mean, I don't, not much. Welcome to July Favourites. If you haven't seen my video about the amazing beach house I'm currently working from, I have a link to it below. I am in Big Bouillon Sea in Devon. This is my bedroom and look at this view. It is absolutely incredible. Let's have a little sea air. Oh, wet feet. Oh, that isn't even the best view. You've got to watch the video. Watch the video where I do a house tour because it is unbelievable. So that is where I am and that is where I'm doing my favourites from. Sorry they're a bit late, but I am on holiday and I'm trying to get that work-life balance right that I never get right in the school summer holidays and I end up resenting everybody and not getting any work done anyway and just being really stressed. So I'm trying this year to just think to myself, you know what, things don't go out on time, it's fine. I look really dry and it's first thing in the morning and I've obviously had my Invisalign in all night and then I find it really hard to speak properly once I take them out. So, right, yes, that's my dressing room. Oh my God. Uh, favourites, favourites this month. The first one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this quite snappy. I'm not gonna lie. First favourite is obviously the place that I'm in. It's just, do you know what? I think that I'm a real sucker for a view. I mean, who isn't? A sucker for a view but this one is really really special I was saying to Rich last night that you can stand on the top of a cliff and you've got the view of everything and that should be an incredible view and it is but it's when you frame it especially through windows that it becomes even more special heart stopping my arm is going to fall off I haven't got a tripod actually this is my second my second favorite of the month my new camera Apart from the fact it has one downfall. Right, I'm gonna just switch cameras here so I can show you the camera that I'm filming on. God, this is very meta, isn't it? Um, right, so this is the Osmo Pocket 3. And I bought this because Anna, the Anna Reddit, had it and she'd filmed something on Instagram and it looked so brilliant. And I said within about 10 seconds, what the hell have you filmed on? What's the lighting? What have you done? And she sent me the link to this. It's slightly odd. So look, if I close up this tripod bit, it's kind of like a big long stick and that's got the battery in it. Um, so you can get an extended battery, which is what's in this grip here. And then the bottom of the grip splays out and it becomes a little tripod. It's not ideal if you're trying to do stuff like this where I've got nowhere to put it down. If you look, I'm just hovering above the floor. However, it's so light. The quality is so amazing. And you can do these really sort of cinematic things with it. So first of all, it follows your face if you want it to, which makes it really handy for vlogging. But if we just sweep around there, the way that it, because it's a gimbal, which means that the camera is, the camera sort of set on, um, how to describe it, uh, like a bracket. Can you see that there? Let's just move it so you can see. So it looks a little bit like um, a short circuit, Johnny Five is Alive. But it means that it gives you these really smooth motions when you move the camera, rather than being really jerky, like it would be on my iPhone. It's a really smooth action. It's very, very clever. If you're not a professional filmmaker, which obviously I'm not, and but you want to sort of add this really gorgeous quality, it's not cheap. Actually, it was cheaper than my uh, Canon PowerShot. So, you know what, yes, I put them in a little pouch, a little white pouch, and they're in the front pocket of your backpack. Okay, close the door after you. Well done.
Okay, so this this is the downside of this camera is that, um, I mean, I could attach it to another tripod, but I didn't bring one with me. I suppose it's not a downside at all. Any camera you would have to find a tripod for. And in fact, I'm just about to plonk it there and it will stay because it's got a tripod built into the bottom of the, of the thing, which is good. Third favorite, I have this on. I've been using it loads for the last couple of months since they sent it. It's a Revlon serum tint. I'm wearing shade 313. It's not like a foundation where you would match it exactly to your skin tone. It's a lot sheerer and lighter than that. However, look, I don't have any um, highlighter on. Let me try and just get better light here. I don't have any highlighter on or anything else. And can you see this glow, lightweight tube, inexpensive. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. It gives enough coverage to even stuff out. It gives more coverage than you'd think it would give for a texture like this that's very hydrating, that sort of feels just like a gel moisturiser. Um, but you do need a concealer over the top for dark circles and I want that. redness it does pretty well on. Mild redness around the nose, it does okay on. Um, but for dark circles, you'd need something a little bit extra. But it's absolutely brilliant. So I'm wearing shade 313. And I can highly recommend that if you're looking for a lightweight, grown up, because you know, it's it's sheeny, but it's not shiny, shiny. If you've got very oily skin and you battle with that, then it's probably not the best one for you. Um, it doesn't particularly add greasiness, but you know, you might prefer a slightly different um, finish to this. I suppose it's all preference, isn't it? I just think it's excellent. So, item number four is this dress that I have on that my entire family hates. And we're really not vocal about it. Just, you know, sometimes you wear a new dress and you really love it, and then no one says anything. You're like, do you like the new dress I'm wearing? And then people are just really truthful. No, actually I don't. That's what's happened here. And it's all because it has this, um, it has this sort of kicked out bottom to it, which I think is very cute. I also think it's very chic. It's summer. I'm near Sulcombe. It's all yachty and what have you and summer holiday-ish. I don't want to be in a bodycon dress. Do you know what I mean? I thought this was really good. It's a shirt dress on, a shirt on top and it's like this little kicked out. I think it's incredibly cute. I'm at the stage now. Where I don't really care that much what anybody else thinks. One thing I will say, uh, I was unloading the dishwasher and my mum said, I can see everything. So don't do that in front of anyone else. <laughs> Doesn't even feel that short, but apparently it is at the back when you bend over. So that's a slight inconvenience. But how often do you bend over in public? Eh? I mean, I don't, not much. Morning. Have you done? I'm cracking through it, mum. Hello. Hello. Hello, have you come to join me? Yeah. I'm just finishing off my video. Yeah. What do you think of this house? Is my voice going to be on your video? Yes, it is. Yay! And, uh, and opera singing in the background there. Oh, no, I want to leave. Can I just finish my video? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Are you off to the beach? Yeah. And then we've got to go home. No. What do you think of this house? It's big. Yeah. Do you like being able to see the sea? Even though we've only been to that beach like twice. What? That one? Yeah. That's because you can't allow dogs on there. Uh, so what why have we... I only been there once? Yeah, because, because we've got Dexter and the other beach you can have dogs on. Is the other beach better then? Is yeah. the dog free beach better? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. They haven't got very good ice cream bit. That one has really nice ones. I got a Biscoff sauce one. Biscoff sauce? That's what I had. You didn't have Biscoff sauce, I don't think. You just had cookie, what was it called? Uh, we, me, I got um. We, me, I. Oh my god. Well, we, me, I, I mean I. We, I got a caramel cookie brownie ice cream. Rich? I'm filming! Sorry, uh, sorry. Are you recording? Yeah! Sorry. Yes, 
Well, I'm not. I, right, no, no, no. I, okay. Sorry. Can I finish my ice cream order? No, because I have to. I have to finish my video. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> See what I mean? It's just impossible to get anything done. Okay. Fifth favorite before I get interrupted and Rich starts hoovering again is cheeky bit of self promotion here, but you know the time is getting nearer. The final cover of my book, How Not to Be a Supermodel, which is amazing. I'm so pleased with it. It's not, it's not um, a massive surprise. Can you not walk behind me? Oh my God. Thank you, watch my toes. I'm gonna I sit there. Chair, you go in your rocking chair. Oh the cover is amazing. It yes, totally man. represents what's inside, which is A, the fact it's about me and it's got me on the cover. No, it doesn't. Shut up. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> oh my God. It's fun. It's brilliant. It's not. Oh my god. Can you go away? You're really putting me off here. I'm going to put it on the screen so you can see. If you haven't pre ordered, make sure you pre order. Honestly, you will not regret it. I was reading out the. Oh my god. Please go away. I was reading the audiobook and I was still laughing, even though I've read it about 75,000 times and edited it about 18 times. So, if you haven't pre-ordered, make sure you pre-order. Uh, if you order from Waterstones, if you're non-UK, if you order from Waterstones, they deliver worldwide. It will be quicker doing that than waiting for the various uh, parts of the world to get it into all their booksellers. It's usually months and months behind and sometimes you don't get it at all. So Waterstones, they deliver worldwide. That's who to go to if you're not in the UK. And audio and ebook are also on pre-order, so make sure you do that. Um, you're really starting to get on my sausages now. <laughs> make sure you pre-order. Make sure you go and have a look at the house tour of Cliff Top, which I will link to below, because everybody loves a little bit of, I can't say that word, house, P star, RN and how many followers do you have? Huh? How many followers do you have? How many followers do I have? Yeah. One, two, <laughs> oh, and daddy, three, <laughs> and granny and granddad, five, and Auntie Kate, Auntie Donna, Auntie Donna, yeah, Auntie Donna, Edith, pretty much just all of our family members, and then a couple of people. So, how do you know? Obviously, follow, follow you because I read it. And me, because I'm a stinky girl. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.